Welcome back, guys. So what we're doing today, we are addressing the dreaded active distance assist, active cruise control in off, warning that you get on the dash, active brake assist in off. Essentially what happened with this customer, we put a bumper on his van, we have a backwards scout bumper, we relocated the sensor into the bumper like you normally would, and one week after getting the bumper put on, he smoked a deer at 60 miles an hour on the highway out here, just in front of the shop. So maybe three miles down from the shop, he hit a deer. And thankfully, the bumper did exactly what it was supposed to do. It protected the van entirely. But the little sensor housing that holds the radar sensor that runs all of these systems was damaged. So this housing was broken. And with that broken, the sensor is no longer held at the correct angle. So he immediately got these warnings on the dash. The active brake assist function in the van, the adaptive cruise control, many of the safety features in the vehicle are all tied to that front radar sensor. Now, just because you get that particular warning on the dash doesn't mean it's a sensor. It could be a multitude of other things. It's a very complex system with a lot of wires, a lot of sensors, a lot of uh, different modules connected to it. But the most common cause of that error that you see on the dash and then your cruise control subsequently not working is due to a misalignment of that front sensor. Either it got bumped and the sensor moved and then it's out of alignment and will no longer read properly or something else happened, a wheel speed sensor became disconnected, a wire got pinched, uh, something along those lines that causes the system to be unhappy. But it's not a big deal. We do these recalibrations several times a week and it's a really simple procedure assuming you have the proper Mercedes software, which we do. We have the Zentry capabilities here. So we'll go through and do the actual Mercedes procedure to recalibrate that sensor once we've put it into the proper location. So first step on this particular vehicle was remove the damaged housing, replace it with the new housing, set the sensor angle to the appropriate angle. Then we go into the computer here and we clear all of the codes, check the current sensor angle, and then start a calibration drive. So the, the procedure is essentially to go, go through those steps and then go out on a calibration drive and teach in that, that sensor into the system. So we'll follow other vehicles. We'll stay around 150 to 250 feet behind other vehicles in traffic. It doesn't need to be fast. It's a relatively slow speed. So we'll go on the highway here, we'll drive into town. And I've got a, a typical route that I'll run and usually we have it calibrated by the time we get back to the shop. It, unfortunately, you do have to go through this procedure. If you move that sensor and change the angle of it outside of the parameters that it allows for, the van will compensate for plus or minus three degrees of horizontally aligned and plus or minus three degrees of vertically aligned. If you're outside of that window, the van's gonna be very unhappy. It's gonna give you these errors on the dash and you'll have to get it adjusted. There are times, I've seen times where you can simply adjust your sensor and it will calibrate on its own, but most of the time you're gonna to have to get it recalibrated, especially if it's persistent and it keeps coming back. Now one thing to keep in mind on all of these vans, after a certain amount of time, if you're driving at night with no traffic in front of you, the sensor will not have a vehicle in front to basically read off of, and the system will not allow you to use your cruise control. That's on all of these vans. I'm not sure the exact timeline. I think on the on the 910s, uh, so the new 23 and ups, it's a little shorter of a time period. It's like an hour, hour and a half without a vehicle. Your cruise control will stop working. On some of these older vans, it's a little longer, it seems to be, but again, I'm not claiming to be the expert and know exactly how long that timeout is. But keep in mind, it, it doesn't always mean that your sensor's out of, calibra out of calibration. If you're getting the warning on the dash, just, hey, oh, I've been driving for three hours. I haven't had any traffic in front of me because I'm in the middle of nowhere. Uh, that's probably why it's happening. Most of the time, you'll be able to stop the car um, for the night start it up the next morning and after driving in traffic again it'll start working again so right now we're going to go ahead and do the calibration drive on this one i've got the computer started the teaching process is running so i'm just going to set the laptop down we'll monitor the status of that as we drive and it's a simple straightforward drive here so enjoy as we tour the lovely town of montrose colorado
All right, simple as that. The calibration drive is over. We get a successfully ended readout on the computer. So the next step is to simply cycle the ignition, scan and clear all the codes, and then you're good to go. Um, after that, you'll be able to engage your cruise control and drive the vehicle like normal. Very straightforward procedure, assuming you have the proper equipment. Um, it's nothing to be concerned about if you get the error on the dash. It does happen a lot. It's a very, very sensitive system, and it can be very frustrating when your cruise control doesn't work. I get it. But again, it's something we see all the time. It's not inherent just to Mercedes. It's inherent to every vehicle on the road these days has a system similar to this. Mercedes just happens to be a little harder to fix compared, a little harder to fix compared to uh, some of the other vehicles on the road because it requires particular software. But no worries, we can get you back on the road. Again, if you, if you see an error on the dash and you're not sure if it's from a lack of traffic or from maybe a, a misalignment, give us a call. We can kind of talk you through it, bring it in, we'll scan it and figure out what's going on and get you back on the road and, and operational in no time. So a little bit about what the radar sensor in the front does. You know, a, a lot of people just associate it with your cruise control, which is true, but it also affects your active brake assist and your adaptive cruise. So right now, I don't have a foot on the throttle or the brake at all. The van is stopping itself in traffic. I have the cruise control set to 40 miles an hour, and what that sensor in the front is doing is sensing the vehicle in front of you. So right now, the vehicle in front of me is moving. I'll go ahead and apply the throttle to get it started. And then from there, I can take my foot off the throttle and it'll speed up and achieve 40 miles an hour or less depending on traffic in front of me. And it'll slow down and actually stop the vehicle at, to a dead stop if need be. So that, like I mentioned earlier in the video, the sensors are very, very sensitive to dirt on the sensor, uh, mud, snow, things like that, and of course alignment. But it's sensitive because it requires really accurate information to properly calculate when to apply the brakes, when to you know apply the brakes in the event of an emergency, say there's a, a, an accident in front of you and it needs to quickly slow down. That That's why it's very important that the sensor is calibrated appropriately. With some of the vans that have adaptive cruise built in, if you have anything blocking that sensor, your cruise control function will not work at all. Adaptive, standard, it just won't work at all. If you have a vehicle that a van that's not equipped with the adaptive cruise control, just your regular cruise control, you can have it out of calibration and your active brake assist won't work, so it won't automatically stop the car in the event of something in front of you, but your cruise control will still function. So not every van is, is the same when it comes to how that sensor functions, but the radar sensor itself, that function is the same. It's just that some of, some of the systems in particular models will not function if there's an issue with the radar sensor well other vans will still let you use cruise control it's a, it's a really complex system but it works extremely well it's just very important that that sensor is calibrated properly and is in the correct position and that's where the problem comes in especially with aftermarket bumpers and uh, you know there's a lot of shops out there that don't have the ability to calibrate these things so it can be a bit of a guess as to where that sensor needs to be sitting and uh, that's where it's really, really beneficial to come to a shop that has all of the capabilities and the knowledge to be able to properly set these things. One other thing to, that I want to touch on with regards to your cruise control and this sensor is tire size. So another thing that can cause your cruise control to not work is having a tire size larger than stock to, you know, up to a certain point, the van will be able to compensate on its own. But after a certain size, the van won't be able to resolve the discrepancy in wheel speed versus sensor height off the ground and the angle that it's cal calculating from the vehicle in front of you. So typically that, that braking point is a 275-70-17 on a stock sprinter. If you run that tire size, everything's gonna work fine. Your speedometer will be off, which we can fix. Check the link in the video in the description below. Yeah, we have a module for that. But your cruise control will still function, everything will still work properly. If you go to a 285 7017, just a slightly larger tire, 
that tends to be the point on the 2019 to 2022 chassis where your adaptive cruise will no longer function. And that requires us to go into the ECM and do some programming on the backside that allows the van to, to accept the larger tire size as the baseline for the all of the cruise control systems and active brake assist systems. On uh, the 2023 and up vans, my experience so far is that you can go to a significantly larger tire than you could on a 2019 to 2022, but there is still a limit. It seems to be, you know, around 34, 34 and a half inch tires. At that point, it doesn't like the tire size and it'll start giving you errors on the, on the dash when it comes to your radar sensor. But by and large, 275, 7017 will work just fine on most of these vans and you won't have an issue with it. I think this guy's drunk, parked in the wrong spot. So all this to say, the system is very complex. There are a lot of different factors that can affect that warning on the dash and interact with your cruise control. So don't necessarily you know, jump to conclusions. Folks get on the forums on Facebook and uh, Instagram, you know, wh wherever you get on the people get on the forums on Facebook all the time, and there's all kinds of misinformation out there about what's causing this issue. And uh, the, you know, I've seen some crazy, crazy shit out there about d disconnect the grip battery ground four times in a row, and then start the van and open and close the door 17 times, and I don't know all kinds of different stuff out there. None of that's gonna work. Just come get it calibrated properly and you'll be good to go. Thanks for watching.